Well, the man served the community and thank God he's a very nice person, yeah, man. All right. He's a very good friend. He know back to the community, he served the community, and God bless him, may he rest in peace. Amen. One thing with Mr. Barik, he is my commissioner of the Supreme Court, and he helped a lot of people. He know COVID, he up to date, he knew it of it. God bless him. Amen. Hey, Amen. That guy was really, really a brilliant guy, man. Yeah. He owned up his responsibility, man. Right? This guy served this country in a lot of honor as a the first, I think, if I'm not mistaken, as the first pharmaceutical person in Punta Gorda. Thank you, brother. Right? Yes. And then he migrated and went to Belize today. He used to work at Central Drug Store. Yeah. Man, it is too numerous to mention, man. Right? Well, you know, we tell our man dead for telling a good, but... Hallelujah, brother. He was a good, good guy and we'll miss him. And may God bless his soul. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, I know Mr. Brad for like what from the early 70s, man. I say like around 73, 74, there about, right? And um, that when I first got a PG, and when I first got a PG, it was my only pharmacist that I had a PG, right? So um, I get to know and through that kind of activity. Um, Besides that, I had a lot of connections with you know, the city when you used to work the uh, community drug store. Very famous guy in terms of helping people, I know, right? One of the most longest term commissioners of the Supreme Court. Um, never, never mind what people might have said about, about him in the later days, but money wise, he was not like a, a money greed. He was like more for the people than anything yeah, else, more right? For the people um, so I, I think that um, he, had, he had built a foundation and, and left a legacy, and I think that um, the family needs to carry it on. And, Mr. Brad was just too generous to some most people, right? So I I, I, I really um, feel bad about him passing away, but now that we got to go, right? And one of the most things I, um, I would uh, really appreciate is that um, based on all his goodness and, and love for people, find perfect peace with the Almighty God, right? He was a role model to many, you know? You know, he was a helpful individual in the family to the ones coming up. You know, my, as you all know, you know, so a little history about my grandpa. He was the first pharmacist in a PG. He used to work at the PG hospital here. He was also the um, person that these Chinese get this name Brads from. So all those Chinese that you see Brads, 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 that's originally from my grandpa, Brady Crane. You know, so they're using his name and the type of stuff. But, you know, he was a uh, he did a lot for the community back in the days, you know. But actually, um, my grandfather was a part of the football association also in PG way back in the days, you know. I think it's similar to the Toledo Football Association, but the name was kind of switched. Football Association of Toledo. That was the type of person he was, and he was a very fulfilled person too. And yep. so I think every, all of PG is supposed to know him. is a one by the front street by Little Melchior, you know. Braddock. He was also the Commissioner of Supreme Court, right? He was a Commissioner of Supreme Court. 